Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts, and I want to speak to you today about the astrology of Thursday, October 19th. Today is a new moon in the sign of Libra. New moons are always points of beginnings. Um, we are starting a new lunation cycle. This is a very powerful new moon. I know I seem to say that every month, um, and almost every month it's true. Today, um, this new moon is powerful because the new moon occurs exactly opposite Uranus in Aries. Now, Uranus has been in Aries since uh, 2010, 2011, and um, it has woken us up. Um, Aries is a, a sign of becoming and freedom and uh, kind of waking up to who we are and the need for freedom. And so we've seen... Uh, Many places become very, um, let's say, uh, chaotic. You know, um, Aries is the god of war. And so there is a warlike quality that was woken up um, at this uh, during these years. And now, uh, next year, it's going to be moving into Taurus. And so this, um, this new moon is uh, important because... Uh, after almost seven years of um, Uranus and Aries, we've, um, I don't know if you could ever say you have a handle on it, but you can have some understanding of it. And this, the opposition to this new moon in Libra gives us an awareness about how we need to work with each other. Now, this particular uh, new moon does have two kite formations within it. And I'm going to just turn this so you can kind of see um, what I see over here. Okay, one second. Terrible camera work, I know. Okay, we're getting up. So here's the chart. This is this is for Washington, D.C. Um, and here we have, uh, you can see a lot of um, red lines, blue lines. Okay, we have, uh, we have two grand um, trines in here. One uh, part of a, a grand fire trine where the sun and the moon make um, a kite formation. There's the sun and the moon up here. I see that. Here's the trine, and there's the sextiles. And then we have another um, a part of the grand fire trine that is being activated. So we have the grand fire trine here, and we have the kite here. I'm just going to bring you over here. This is a Sabian symbol for this 27th degree. An airplane sails high in the clear sky. Keynote, consciousness able to transcend the conflicts and pressures of the personal life. Transcendent realization. And I think we do realize at this time, especially in my country, the United States, uh, where we have uh, perhaps you know, Uranus and Aries, uh, as a, um, an example of Uranus and Aries as our as the person who's supposedly in charge of the country, the 45th, uh, the 45th, as I like to call him. So um, we're getting some perspective. We're getting some needed perspective. The thing that kites do, do in a chart is it creates. Um, uh, we can actually manifest the the. The square, I mean, excuse me, the the, the fire trine, um, I'm going to bring you back to me. <laughs> Hi. So the fire trine uh, is highly creative, but it can sort of spin without having that, um, those sextiles, those um, other planets to make uh, the sextiles to it and the kite and the opposition to Uranus and um, the opposition to the North Node. So... This is a very creative time. It's time to relate to each other in a different way, to respect each other's need to be who we are, and yet to work within that in order to um, survive, really, and thrive. This is a time of waking up. It's time for us to all take responsibility for our part in this. Have yourself a great day. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. If you'd like to contact me for reading, I can be reached at thecesartransformation.com. Have yourself a great day. See you again tomorrow.